Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic Season of Discovery. This time on a human rogue, this time, as of today, with the Discoverer's Delight, which is now granting 100% experience gains and 300% gold gains from Quest. So yeah, it's a different kind of season here. We, we now have 100% XP buff. I personally have never leveled with 100% XP buff in Classic. Back in Season of Mastery, they did eventually up the XP to 100%. And that was actually the, about the same exact time that I stopped playing the season. So, this will be a fun little experiment uh, to find out exactly how fast do we level and what is leveling like in Classic Era with 100% experience gains. I'm interested to find out. Thank Hello. you guys very much See for being later. here. I do appreciate you clicking on the video and choosing to spend a little bit of time here with me today. Uh, it has been a while since we have played the season of Discovery. And oftentimes I don't know how much day to you. of the season I'm going to play in the future, but I am curious just to find out what does this feel like. And I'd love to hear from you guys, how do you feel about the 100% experience buff? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Did you need it? Did you never ask for it? Let me know. Need help? Be careful, or the Alliance. Now, Rogue is one of the classic classes that I am less familiar with uh, than perhaps some others. So, it'll be interesting to learn it. Uh, we got a Rogue up to like level 15 on the Horde side. And in all that time, I didn't feel like I learned anything about the class. So, I'll be curious to learn about talents and things like that from you guys. Now, I'm showing all of my health bars here. I don't, I don't want to show all my health bars. I would love to only show health bars when we're in combat. Always show nameplates. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. Now this is the morning of uh, them putting the buff in. So I'm kind of curious, like, how many people do we have leveling? Uh, 31 people. It's not, you know, it's not a bunch, but it's not a small number. It is 11 o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday, so that probably factors in. I do think that a lot of people who wanted alts, they, they probably already had a bunch of alts, you know? Because you, you already had the experience buff from 1 to 25. And 1 to 40 wasn't really that bad. I think a lot of people were dungeon grinding it. I could go ahead and turn name floating names on. Uh, nope. There we go.
Well, that's already level 3. That's interesting. We're not even through the first quest yet. Oh yeah, we're moving our XP bar in chunks. Just by killing level 2 wolves. At, at level 3, we're still moving this in big chunks. Watch it, watch it move. See it jump? Jeez. Alright, let's go turn in a quest and see how much our XP bar moves by turning a quest in. Will we how ding level you? four? Have a good one. See you around. We got pretty close. We got pretty close. I mean, it, it might not be super efficient to do it this way, but I have to say that getting chunks of XP for these guys really makes me want to fight like everything in my path, you know? Like, I just want to grind on everything I can because the reward for it is so chunky. And that's not a bad feeling to have. It would probably be much more efficient maybe to like focus the questing. Although then again, maybe it wouldn't be, because in Classic Era, a lot of your experience in general comes from kills. So maybe it's not more efficient to focus the questing. Maybe it is more efficient, especially when you have a quick kill rate, just to kind of fight everything in your way. And just watch as your XP bar jumps across the screen. It feels kind of crazy. And a little bit broken. <laughs> but we'll see how it shapes up over the next hour or so.
Need something? See you later. Greetings. Go with honor, friend. Light bless you. Go with honor, friend. Be careful. Light bless you. Um, our trainer. Is our trainer outside somewhere? I think that maybe they are. Yeah, they gotta be outside. It would probably be good to train some of our skills. You know, we haven't trained level 2 or level 4 at this point. Train, Robert. Train your abilities, man. Uh, have we sold anything yet? We have one silver. We, we probably don't even Greetings. have what we need here. Uh, back, yeah, backstab, stealth, pickpocket. Yeah, okay, we need to later. actually play the game properly and go sell some stuff. And now they, they also said that they're going to be increasing the gold urn by 300%, so I guess that's why we had a silver already. Just, you know, we haven't even vendored yet, so normally we wouldn't have a silver. I wonder how that's going to shape up over time. Need help? Like, the reason why they did that is because we're going to be leveling so fast that potentially we're not going to be doing as many quests. Or, like, I don't know exactly how it's going to work. Um... So yeah, maybe they're just compensating for just the faster speed of leveling. Let, let's go after... I mean, we can do whatever we want. Let's come down here and go after our ability. A rune of Shadow Strike. We're at a level that we can kind of pick and choose.
And since we're already out here, we'll just work on this one first. This will be the first time in like five years that I've done this quest out of order. Usually we always do all the cobalt stuff first before we come across into the fields here. So, you know, a little interesting change of pace. Uh, let's see here. We need to be in stealth for this one. Um, which I guess I didn't really realize. I really never know if that ability is even worth it or not. Or if it's better just to run up to the enemies and punch them in the face. It feels okay, but you know, once we're in stealth, we're moving pretty slowly. It does build a combo point, I guess, so... It's probably worth it. I really wish it could have more of a charge effect and less of like a teleport effect. Um, it's kind of jarring to me how we get a sudden camera angle change when I do the ability. I wish we could like slip through the shadows. Imagine like us kind of turning shadowy and quickly, quickly zigzagging towards the enemy uh, while we're kind of cloaked in shadows. And so that way the ability would function more like a charge. Uh, we would keep our original perspective. I think this tries to put us behind the target, but it never really ends up looking like that happens. It probably does for like a millisecond. By the time we teleport in, we are facing the enemy, the enemy is facing us. We don't have that moment where we're behind them. Um, and we just kind of, we appear in front of them it seems. Like this guy, he's facing off in this direction. Okay, let's see where we're facing when we pop in. Yeah, it's, it seems like we just teleport to their front. But if we, if we do get behind them, it's, it's very momentarily, we don't get to experience that part of it. And you just get this really sudden camera shift. I mean, it's not horrible. It's not like nauseating or anything. But I think the flow of a charge for a distance closer is better. If we could just kind of like zigzag in a, like a quick charge towards the enemy. I, I, I don't really know if we need to be behind them because we don't have time to fire off any abilities that require being behind anyway. You know, we don't have the time to take advantage of the fact that we are behind them for a moment. Like by the time the global cooldown is up, the enemy's facing us. Oh, we are stuck in combat with somebody. It could be any of these people. Yeah, I have no idea who we're stuck in combat with. It literally could be anyone at this point. <laughs> We've got a level 30 escorting a level 5 through quest. Oh my gosh, like how much easier does it have to get? 
You've got a 100% XP bonus. Do you really need the level 30 player escorting you? Or is this like your alt? Are you multi-boxing? Or is this like your buddy? Doesn't It's a cool pet though. It doesn't seem like it would be necessary to, uh, to have somebody at level 30 escorting you through a level 1 to 5 zone. But that's just me. I mean, I guess if you want to do stuff like that, you can. Oh, Hunter, wake up! <laughs> wake up! You think, can this mage solo all three of these guys on their own? I guess we're going to find out. I guess we're going to find out. Yeah, it looks like they can. That's actually really surprising. Well, maybe they're not going to live. I mean, I could help, but I don't think they need it. It was a close one, though. <laughs> okay. It was so close. So very close. I guess sometimes you can't rely on your level 30 buddy to help you out. That was an object lesson. Not to rely on other people. Could I have helped that person? Yes. If it was hardcore, I would have helped them. Absolutely. But, you know, in a normal version of the game, I feel like... I feel like the decision to take on three melee fighters as a mage should probably end in a death. That's probably the only way uh, to actually learn that that's not a really good idea. What can I do for you? See you around. Hey there. We can actually buy our abilities now. Uh, we're probably not going to be using a lot of backstab, and we're probably not going to be using a lot of pickpocket, so... Although backstab only requires that we're behind the enemy, right? We don't have to be in stealth for this one. It requires daggers also. See, yeah, I don't even know if we'll be using daggers, like, long term or not. There we go. Good day to you. Have a good one. Safe travels. See you later. What can I do for you? All right, let's vendor and then we'll head over. We'll deal with the with the kobolds. I supply only the finest goods. Gloves were a little bit of an upgrade, but it doesn't really matter. It's only a couple of armor.
What can I do for you? Go with honor, friend. Be careful. We probably don't really need to, but let's vendor and we'll go get our level six abilities. Well met. But yeah, like we, we probably don't need it. Light bless you. To deal with these kobolds. something uh, we got gouge which incapacitates the opponent for four seconds turns off our attacks target must be facing you any damage caused will revive the target and sinister strike rank two which is great that's just more damage on sinister strike all right let's head north though towards the mine and we'll deal with the laborers And see, with the camera issue, sometimes there's, there are times like that when, like, all of a sudden our camera was in a wall. Uh, which is a little bit jarring. Yeah, and see, we're facing a different way. Um, yeah, it's an okay ability. I will be fine. I'll be fine replacing that ability, like, as soon as possible. It's nice to have a distance closer, but I, I really don't like the randomized, like, camera problems that could result.
King's honor, friend. For the Alliance. Light bless you. Go with honor, friend. Light be with you. For the Alliance. I buy and trade. Be careful. All right, now we're going after Millie's Harvest and Garrick Padfoot's head. Why would I want to be in a group and split my kill XP? Like, I'm getting double kill XP. Why would I why would I want to not get double kill XP? It's not like we need help killing stuff. So we're level 7. We're probably going to leave here at level 7. Now, normally you would leave uh, you would leave Northshire Valley anywhere between level 5 and level 6. Like typically you'd leave here at level 5. If you did a little bit of extra grinding, you fought stuff along the way, then potentially you can leave here at level 6. So is it broken? Is 100% XP in Classic Era broken? It 
doesn't Shake seem rounds. like it, but it's kind of too soon to tell. That's a cool looking uh, chess piece. Are we wearing a shirt? Oh no. No, we are not. Hashtag no shirts. Yeah, it's hard to tell if it's like overpowered or if it's broken or if it just feels good. Hey there. Um, it's possible that maybe it just feels good. That is a definite possibility that's that's kind of blossoming. See you around. Because, you know, it's not like we're leaving Northshire Valley and we're level 9 or 10 or 11. We're leaving here. We're level 7. We would typically be level 6, maybe level 5.5. And so that feels, it feels not bad. It feels like we got a little bit of a boost, a little bit of an edge going into Elwyn Forest. Uh, what it feels like overall is that like maybe you would have to do a little bit less zone hopping. I'm hesitant to say that maybe you wouldn't have to zone hop it at all. It's possible. It's possible that maybe if you were fighting stuff along the way and you weren't skipping mobs, then maybe you could just do a straight path through, uh, you know, Elwyn Hello. to Westfall or Lock Mo or Dunmore to Lock Modan. Uh, maybe Night Elf leveling would be easier because you wouldn't have to worry so much about zone hopping and getting on the boat, doing the wetlands run, all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, like maybe it's just as good. I don't know. I, I think it'll it'll take some more time to tell. Definitely. But it, it, at first brush, it, it doesn't seem like it's like incredibly game-breaking. So that kind of answers that question. Is it broken? Probably, probably not. It probably doesn't break the game. It, it might allow you to not zone hop as much. Possibly not at all. Hey there, have a good one. Now Questy's telling me there's a rune here uh, next to the fishing trainer. We are definitely going to check that out. Ah, uh, this is the one that's on the roof, isn't it? Okay, somewhere around here there are some boxes or crates or something we can jump up on. Pretty sure there's a way up and probably over on this side. Uh, that being said, while we're out here, we are definitely going to grab skinning. And, uh, well, I don't know if we'll grab leatherworking. I don't know if I want a profession, but maybe, okay. maybe we go ahead and we grab it. Let's just grab it for now. Not really Have committing to anything quite yet. But we'll grab it for now and we'll see. Uh, let's do a little jumping puzzle here because we know how much I love jumping puzzles. And somewhere up here, <laughs> this is a cool place to hang out. Uh, somewhere up here is a root. Aha. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that was cool. Teaches you... Uh, what is this? Rune of, the, of Slaughter. This is a leg... A leg slot. Oh no, this is a chest. I swear that it said leg, didn't it? Like, in the icon's tooltip? Reduce the energy cost of your backstab and ambush abilities by 20. Oh, man. If only it could reduce the cost of our Sinister Strike. I don't know, like, how much backstabbing we're going to be doing. Because, like, backstab does not work well with Shadow Strike. So maybe... And also, backstab is a dagger build. So I'll equip it for now. I just don't know how much use we're going to get out of it unless we're purposely going into stealth. And not using Shadow Strike. Kind of an interesting second rune to get. Uh, what other runes do we have here? Quick draw seems like some kind of ranged ability.
Greetings. Light bless you. Be careful for the Alliance. How are you? How are you? Alright, guys, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna take a break right here for now. I'm gonna rest at the inn. And I'm going to think about this whole 100% XP thing. I, I'm very curious as to what you guys think, whether you're playing the game with the 100 XP buff or not. What do you think about it? How does it feel to you if you are leveling a character? Uh, to me, right now, you know, being level 7.5, it, it feels good. It doesn't feel totally broken. Uh, and I could see that it could still let one have kind of a just a journey that isn't going to be as fraught with travel and, and jumping back and forth between green quests. So for a lot of people, this could be a, a really, really good thing. Uh, now, obviously, like with this, <laughs> what might need to happen soon is uh, is the next level band might need to open up soon. And I don't really think that's on their roadmap yet. I don't really think that was on the roadmap until like the middle of spring. But they might need to like accelerate some plans there. Maybe even if they don't have the raid stuff done, maybe they don't have the end game stuff done. It might be a good idea just to start letting people level up to 50. Obviously from 40 to 50 you're not going to have the XP buff, So, but just like opening that up for people uh, could encourage people to use this buff to roll up ults or you know pull people back into this mode of the game. And yeah then you know people could do the 5 man dungeons up to level 50 and gear up for whenever the raid does open up could be one way to go about it. Anyway let me know what you guys think, I would love to hear from you. Until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we'll see you back in Azeroth again very soon. Bye for now.